Hello, welcome to TechShemit. In this session, we will mainly discuss about the installation process of Access Client Solution. So before going to uh, discuss about the installation process, let's first discuss about like what exactly the Access Client Solution is. So Access Client Solution is a IBMI inter, uh, emulator that we can use to access the AS400 system or we, uh, through which we can code in our RPG language. Okay, so uh, now we will uh, go step by step like what are the essential steps that we need to implement to install this application. Okay, so first of all, uh, to install the IBM Access Client Solution, you have to search th this term in your Google account, uh, IBM I Client Access Solution. And once you hit on search, you will reach to this page where you have to click on this first link. That is IBM official link for Access Client Solution. So once you click on this link, you will reach to uh, this kind of page where you have three uh, you, where you can see the three options that is download for IBM access client solution quick guide and getting started so just click on the first link uh, that is download for IBM access client solution as soon as you click on this link you will reach to this page where you need uh, one IBM ID and password to log into the system so if you if you have that IBM login ID password then you can uh, d directly use that uh, account information and you can continue with that and if you don't have then you can just uh, click on that create I create an IBM ID and once you click on this create an IBM ID you will reach to uh, this uh, page where you can sign up for the IBM ID okay it will ask you for the email address and some basic information like your first name last name and it will uh, ask you for the email confirmation and once your email is uh, verified by the ibmi then you will uh, get the ibmi id and password so uh, once you got that you can directly uh, that uh, use that ibmi password and id in this screen and once you uh, got uh, logged into this screen, uh, this IBM I portal, then you will reach to this page where you uh, will see all the privacy and license detail of the product. And here you can just uh, simply cl uh, click on this I agree. And once you agree all those terms and conditions provided by IBM I, then you can uh, you are then you can able to click on this I confirm and once you click on that i confirm you will reach to this uh, screen where you can directly click on this link the first link to install the ibmi access client solution zip file so just uh, click on this download ibmi and after that you will uh, get the ibmi uh, ibmi access client solution zip file that you can extract from by clicking right uh, by taking right click on this file and once you click on the extract files you will get this kind of folder as IBM is providing the tool for all the operating system like Linux Mac and Windows so you can uh, use uh, any of the system as per your your system okay so for now we will look uh, into only the Windows application so once you click on this windows application you will uh, see these kind of information and where you can select uh, either the 64 bit or 32 bit as for your system configuration and for now we will uh, go with the 64 bit and after that you uh, it will ask you few information uh, and few confirmation that we need to implement before going to install this like do you want to use 5250 emulator so just click on yes do you want to make the acs default program for your existing a yes so you have to just uh, go with the all option as a yes so just click on this yes after that it will ask you is it okay to uh, view printer output for the all user so you can select it as a yes do you want to use the integrated file system yes do you want to transport the data from the spreadsheet yes so uh, in the upcoming session we will also discuss like how we can directly uh, use this access client solution to transfer our data from excel sheet to our pf or lf and uh, uh, vice versa so mainly we will uh, transfer data from the excel to pf after that it will ask you do you want to uh, uh, 
use navigator for this so just click on yes do you need a uh, need to manage ssl and tsl certification yes do you need to use database tool yes then do you need to use an hmc and lan console yes do you need to use uh, remote commands yes do you need to uh, use the system debugger so there are few questions that will uh, ask to, uh, by you uh, to you for in uh, installing the cybm access client solution so you have to just click on all yes for all windows or you can uh, uh, press no as well if you uh, if you don't want to make any particular option or you don't want to opt any particular option okay at last it will ask you to uh, make a, create a shortcut on your desktop so just click on this yes after that it will uh, windows there will be a pop up from windows it will ask you to uh, for the access so just uh, give allow access just click on this allow access and then it will show this confirmation screen uh, where it will show that your ibm access client solution is installed installed properly okay once it is installed properly you will see uh, these two icons on your desktop screen where we have created this uh, shortcuts and these are the uh, shortcut for uh, to access this application so uh, for this video we have only discussed the process of installation in the upcoming video or upcoming session we will discuss how to set up that account and how we can access um, the ID the pub 400 ID that we use to um, access the system is 400 system okay and one more important thing that we need to do before this installation process is uh, as this application is based on Java so there should be a proper update of your uh, Java or you have to install Java latest version of Java before going to install this application so make sure that your uh, system is uh, your you have Im installed your java the latest version of java in your system so that uh, it will uh, not show any kind of issue while installing this access client solution so if we break down this session into three uh, categories or three parts then we can say that first of all we have to create the ibm i login id after that we can install the zip file and to uh, to install the zip file we what we need is uh, the latest version of the java so we will uh, install then we will install that uh, java version and after that we can uh, directly extract the zip file and install um, follow these uh, steps that we have discussed uh, to install these two application or then once it is installed you will uh, get these two link or um, shortcuts on your desktop application okay so yeah uh, that's all for this session uh, in the next session we will discuss about uh, the set how we can set up the ibm i emulator or how we can uh, get the uh, pub 400 id and password so yeah that's all for this session thank you for watching tech